We are back in the Yukon, one of the most remote places on Earth. Twelve years ago, my dad brought me to this area, but in that trip, we only got to see one bull in 12 days. Even this area looks like a paradise. Populations are defined by the worst time of the year, which is the winter, and the Yukon is a tough place to live in. That's why the populations are so low here. We made it alive, two flight trips, and we are in camp. Thanks God. <laughs> Of this afternoon for a ride and we made a big hole in the boat so we cannot ride anymore. So now we are trying to text with the Inrich for figuring out how to repair the boat <laughs> and if not we'll have to come out with a plan B. So we'll be, stay tuned. <laughs> Day two, early morning start today. We're gonna take advantage of the first hours of the day. It's super cold now, so things should be getting better. Let's go. Start day three, beautiful sunrise, but still a little bit too warm. But according to Dom, today is the day, so we'll see. Something went wrong with the motor. Had to come back to camp to try to fix the motor. It's way colder now, so we hopefully will be back in the river pretty soon. This is getting better each, each day, so. So, day four. And we have problems again with the freaking boat. There is water inside the boat. We have another big hole, or the one we had before, open again. And every single day, every single morning, afternoon, we are having problems with this hunting. Let's see, let's see if we can fix it and we can get back in the river.
was a monster. The most exciting thing I have ever done. That's what you look for. The blood is freezing. That's a perfect shot. Oh my god, that ball. We got that ball. <laughs> Let's go see how the pool looks like. Let's go, take Let's go track it. Awesome, good job. 20 days in the Yukon to get it done. <laughs> Second trip. Butardol is mocking ball. Butardol is pickling. Dickelando de sorda de jabalibron. Un tardón de smoking. <risa> bueno. So like six trips, six guys, three hours. Last load to the boat. We just got the moose. It's a beauty, but we need to come up tomorrow and try to get it out of the water. Beautiful moose. And we just have to tie it down so it doesn't disappear overnight. Day seven, operation rescuing the moose from underwater. <laughs> precioso, precioso, tiene unos frontes espectaculares, es un bicharraco y era el bicho que llevábamos tres o cuatro días detrás de él y al final ha caído, un magnífico disparo. Take tonight. Teamwork.
for sure this one is gonna be a hard one to beat the Yukon 10 days hunting with my dad two gorgeous bulls down for sure memories that will last forever a ver, Pedro. ¿Quieres explicarme por qué tu alce es mejor que el mío? Dime alguna razón. Porque está matado con arco. En ese aspecto, reconozco. A 20 metros. Y el mío, 240. Ha estado dos alces magníficos, hemos estado muy bien. Pero yo creo que ha sido la cacería que yo creo de toda mi vida la de más fortuna que he tenido. Porque solo ha habido dos oportunidades. Dos en todos los días y las hemos aprovechado. Y además con dos alces como o sea que eso me parece como, como milagroso, milagroso. Con los cobrados, secos. I would like to thank first my dad for taking me with him in these hunts, the guides, Dom, Cody, Corey, for such an awesome time. They really work hard and help us a lot. The homesteads for having such a great operation and, and everyone else that made this possible. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and hope to be back in the Yukon one of these days. Thanks a lot.